as all of this kind of kicked off, you and several other of your colleagues uh, released a statement calling on a, for a ceasefire uh, in the region. But I wonder, what is Israel supposed to do about Hamas after they murdered, brutalized, mm-hmm. uh, abducted over mm-hmm. a thousand of their citizens? Are they supposed to just do nothing? Well, you know, I think what's important to note about a ceasefire is that it's not one-sided. Hamas has been sending thousands of rockets into Israel as well. And what is important is for us to identify our goal in terms of what safety means, in terms of what defense means. But and if I, think I may, it, Congresswoman, I think the position from Israel's perspective is that there was already an attack. Mm-hmm. And Hamas already committed an attack. Mm-hmm. After that happened, do you really believe that they should not respond to that? I think what is important in terms of response is Israel does have a right to to self-defense. I think what we need to take a look at in this situation is if collective punishment qualifies as defense, if the blockade on water, food, electricity, if the dropping of white phosphorus, uh, which is an indiscriminate weapon, qualifies. So I do believe that there's a discussion to be had here. I don't believe that an either or approach is what is uh, necessary, but we should identify what our goal is, which is the cooling of tensions in the Uh, region. Israel's goal is to rid the region of Hamas. Mm -hmm. They've been very clear about that. Mm -hmm. And I I certainly take what you're saying about the condition of Gaza right now Mm -hmm. for civilians who, as you point out, are not synonymous with Hamas. But for Israel to deal with Hamas, which uh, is a force that is actually detrimental to Palestinians. Absolutely. How else are they supposed to address a violent militant, Mm -hmm. some say terrorist group, Mm -hmm. uh, other than to go in there and and take them on directly? Well, You know, when we talk about going in there, I think we should also keep in mind President Biden's statements uh, as well about what a potential, what the implications of a potential ground invasion would be. This is an inherently complex situation. I do believe that Hamas needs to be dealt with. But but how, I think, is what I'm trying to understand. And I think what we're trying to figure out right now is that this present situation of collective punishment and and indiscriminate attack is is one approach, but we are seeing that the, the issues and the complications with that approach now. I'm just can we target them in terms of intelligence? Is there precision? Are what are the options available? Are an entire are, are entirely up to the administration and for for Israel to um, to examine and explore. 